Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. My name is Chandra. Chandra. So I've been doing various things in here. Did a couple of stuff. Did they record something? It was bad. So we are starting where we. What I wanted to begin with. So we have a meeting to attend on six, and we have the day of the memories. But I don't know if that kind of scrubs the quests. Yeah, so this is the attend the saloon meeting of development. Yeah, we are here. That, that's fine. Cool. Oh. Good evening, everyone. It's nice to see so many wonderful faces here tonight. I wanted to invite you to discuss the future of Sandra without being crammed into the stuffy city hall this time. With the recent opening of the road to Portia, we have access to water like never before, as well as being able to finally increase our access to trade and tourism. All of this was only made possible thanks to the efforts of everyone here at our wonderful town. So, I would like to propose a toast to Heidi, to the Builder, to everyone, to Sandrock! To, to Sandrock! Sandrock. Recently, I have been soliciting the opinions of Sandrockers regarding the future development of our town and infrastructure. This time, I'm glad to see everyone's excited about our future for once. We have a couple of proposals to go through tonight. So, without further ado, it is with great pleasure I introduce our wonderful Mian and Zeke to discuss theirs. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Recently, I have been working with Zeke on a plan to plant a forest in the Eufaula Outback that could block the sandstorms from Sand Rock almost entirely. We've already demonstrated some success with the little woods near Gecko Station, but with portion water, we'll be able to scale up substantially. But I'm not the expert here, so Zeke can explain everything in more detail. Zeke? Uh... Don't worry, just go over it like we rehearsed. You can do it. Right. Sorry. Just a little nervous. Been a while. <clears throat> the Eufaula out back in the north is, uh, really big. It's got lots of land and sand. If we plant trees there, they can stabilize the terrain and stop the runoffs. Economy? This isn't some small project, though. Uh, it'll probably cost City Hall a lot of money. No. Talk about how it'll help Sandrock. Right. Uh, if we use more water from Portia, we should be able to maintain a large enough forest in the outback to lessen or even stop the sandstorms. We, uh, will finally get a sustainable Sandrock. And there you have it. No oh, more sandstorms. Money. Thank you very much for the presentation, Mian, Zeke. We've been discussing this possibility for a very long time. Now that we finally have the know-how and Mr. Musa's backing, we might just be able to pull it off. Do you have a more detailed plan? What do we need to do first? Oh, well, I guess I want to do a test planting on the Outback Sands first. The sand over there is drier, and the water table is much lower. For that, we'll need a small irrigation tower in the area. Good idea with the test. I'll expedite a budget for that. Does anyone else have something to say about this proposal? <laughs> Makes me proud to see a guild member being such a go-getter. I knew I could count on you. I'll help out as well. Thank you, Builder. Commissioner Wei. Thank you all. Now, on to our second proposal. Uh, Heidi, if you please. Good evening, everyone. To the natives here, do you remember Miss Bliss? Yeah, me too. She was the best darn teacher this side of the Alliance. And I am who I am today because she pushed me to always do my best. We don't have that for our children today. We haven't had a school since a sandstorm blew down the old one. I'd say it's about time we built a new one. Miss yeah, Bliss put this? the fear of light in me. So I've got a proposal. It's been sitting there the whole time. 
since our old minister, whose name I shall not mention, took off. Pretty literally, her destroyed house is just sitting there. Perfect location for a school. Wow, that's so great! When do we start the PTA? I'll volunteer for everything! Can Elsie go back to school? Ha, huh, I ain't a kid. I think it goes without saying that I fully approve of this proposal as well. In fact, I've already submitted a job advertisement for a school teacher. Yes. This school project and the new forest will be our town's primary focus going forward. I think if we can achieve both, we'll finally get more people to settle here. Folks, we're really close now. We stand ready to do our part, ma'am. Right, everyone? Yep. This team is so reliable. I feel like we could build anything if we put our minds to it. The ends never praised me before. This is going to be a lot of work. I'll spread out the assignments amongst us after I have a talk with Heidi. We'll all pitch in together and get that school looking like the pride of the Eufala. I never used to believe in good and evil twins, but here you are, proving us all wrong. Anyway, I hope the meeting was useful in letting y'all know a bit more about what's in store for us. I'm still open to more proposals, so if you have ideas for Sandrock, please bring them forward. Let's do our best for our city-state. So let's leave it there for tonight. Everyone, eat up. Owen went out of his way to give us a real feast for tonight. And remember... Okay, so we have a bunch of... Uh, mini... Logan, things. did you get to talk to Trudy about that outpost idea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw you talking to Trudy before the meeting. How'd it go? She's still thinking about it. What do you mean she's thinking about it? Spit it out, Logan. Well, she didn't outright say yes. She asked me what I want to do. I said protect Sandrock, hunt monsters, maybe get a lookout tower built. She said, sure, write up a proposal. Sure? That means yes. Good going, Yak Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Glad Trudy liked your idea. But somehow you don't seem all that pleased, though thing is, writing up plans? Yeah, I ain't good at that. Ah, uh, you don't want to write it? I guess I could try. Although, my handwriting has been a subject of criticism at times. Come on. You guys are overthinking it. Just write exactly what you mean. Trudy wouldn't ask you to write something up if she wasn't seriously considering it. And who knows? You might even find that writing out your ideas will give you new insights. Well, when you put it that way, yeah, all right. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let me know if you need help. Okay, that, that, that was... That was cool. And so, my fellow sand rockers... I Not Cooper again. As many famous proposals have begun with the beginning. Someone once told me that the dictionary defines beginning as the point in time or space at which something begins, or something like that, and I believe that time is now. Friends, sand rockers, countrymen, lend me your ears. For too long has our train station stagnated in development. <laughs> sure, we gave it a touch up when Musa came by, but how long has that been? And certainly if Musa likes trains, everyone should like trains. For it was Four scores and seven minutes ago that I began to have a dream. Uh, that of a new attraction being birthed quite literally unto our fine citizens. An attraction with the power to revitalize attentiveness towards our town. And so I say, ask not what trains can do for you, but what you can do for trains. The answer is simple. We somehow crossbreed the mortal duck and the yakmal in order to produce the super flying yakmal. <laughs> we ain't gonna lose to them winged buffaloes up north. <laughs> what you can do for trains being uh, agree to my proposal of building a high-speed bullet train for Sandrock. <laughs>
In addition to being a spectacle, this bullet train will produce milk on a level never before conceived by imagination. Yes, just imagine the joy of traveling to and from Sandrock riding on a super yak mail. What'd, What'd you, you say? say? Hey, that's, that's my, my idea. idea. What's the big idea there, pal? I'm speeching over here. You got your train speech and my yakmal speech. What do you mean? I was just minding my own business when you got your yakmal in my train speech. Good. <laughs> we got too many cooks in the kitchen as it is. Here, well, here. Let's both practice our speeches together. Too many, too many things. Rocky, now that we're getting a school, we'd better get prepared. I'm so excited. Getting prepared? Getting prepared for what? Oh, you know, textbooks, study materials, stationaries. And it's never too early to start gracing up some connections. I'm gonna start writing to the Vincent Design Institute's admissions office. Oh, yeah. That sounds, uh, cool. Say, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't your baby not even out yet? Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. There's no such thing as too early. Most parents of children at Pebble's age already got their kids' education all planned out. It's much easier to win the race if you get a head start, don't you know? Uh, win the... race? Um, hey, don't come. look. Uh, maybe we're not ever gonna see eye to eye on this one. But maybe that's fine. Here's one thing we can agree on. I think having a school in town is going to be great. Yeah? Yes, wholeheartedly agree. Wow, our kids are going to be classmates. They need to wear cute clothes. Oh, maybe school uniforms. They should also do school photo days. Hey, and a yearbook. Gotta have a yearbook. Uh... Yeah, then we can get a bit excited. you holding up cat not like you to be so quiet at meetings like this what gives yeah i've got some ideas but i'm just mulling them over a bit you know not everything has come up space for me lately i'm thinking i need to slow down and think things through first need a friendly ear ah <sighs> all right let's see i've been thinking about my entrepreneurial career so far and go on you remember how I always talk about Katori World, right? It's always been my dream to... I actually wanted to pitch the idea to Musa, you know? But when I was talking to him while he was in town, something he said stopped me. He questioned if I was fully committed to my business. I wanted to answer, of course I am. But then, I'm not so sure. And that got me thinking. My entire goal coming out here was to create a better life for my son. But I sure am doing a terrible job at it. That's right. Don't let Musa get to you. Thank you, Builder, Heidi. But I'm afraid. Afraid that I'll never have time for my son anymore. Or that whatever I try next will fail and you'll all be in for a big disappointment. That's why I didn't give Trudy anything this time. Oh, okay. Cat, you just take your time. You'll figure it out. We'll always be here, ready to lend a hand. Thanks, guys. I needed the pep talk. That was a cool pep talk. Do we have any more people to talk about? Uh, that was a big sequence of stuff. Okay, we have a few quest marks. Okay, okay. Let's go to... Uh, to do you have uh, apparently something? You know, lately, I've been thinking about Matilda. Although she was a Devosian agent, she used to be kind and pleasant to everyone. Her speeches at the fireside chats were often inspiring. <coughs> at the time, I was envious. I thought, that's what a mayor should be. Thank you. Anyway... Even though I don't approve of Matilda's actions, I can still learn from her qualities. I think in the future, I need to be more confident when communicating with our citizens, 
so that they can be assured that things are getting done. I have a lot of room for improvement in this area. I'll work hard and figure it out. Yeah, that, that, that seems cool. Okay, let's go to the next thing. I believe it's one or two people that we didn't like have the time to talk when we are inside the inside. So uh, we can go. Uh, is that Zeke that we need to find? Yeah, yeah, big Zeke. So this is gonna be the new school. Cool. Let's go find Zeke. Yeah, so we have taken the the thing, but uh, it's run a bit. It's fine. Everything is fine. Is he in? Is he? Nope, is inside the moisture farm. Moisture farm. Uh, where are you? Where, uh, where are you? You are here. Uh. I was nervous because usually Trudy handles all the talking in a presentation. Oh, that was all? Cool, okay. Uh, let's grab some fertilizer. We're gonna waste a bit of money because we need to keep that greenhouse bed. And we'll go to sleep. Alright, let's go back to the base and uh, probably we're gonna have a bit of work in our hands now. We're gonna have stuff to build and uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Right there, we have put some more do stuff that it's gonna take a minute to, to finish and uh, water levels are decent and uh, those are decent yeah okay well, we are gonna survive but we need more dog collectors so let's it's better to build them now the better ones like yeah yeah we don't i don't care about that uh, we have a sandstorm we haven't had a sandstorm for a minute there okay We have a train. A new character. Any. So hey, is Sandrock always like this? Heck of a storm, huh? I can barely open my eyes. You live around here? I've just arrived from Highwind. Gonna stay in Sandrock for a while. Oh, I'm Penny, by the way. I gotta say, I'm happy to be here, but I didn't expect the welcome to be so sandy. Thanks. I'm a musician, actually. I came here with my... Huh? Where's my guitar? My guitar! It's not broken, is it? Ah, this darn wind! I can't even open my eyes! Really? You're uh, an yeah. angel. Is everyone over here as nice as you? I heard about there's a place called the Blue Moon Saloon. It would be great if you can take me there. Yes, yes, we can. Thanks so much. If it weren't for you, I would have found myself at the bottom of some canyon. My guitar. It's come. Howdy, little missy. Uh, if you come to Sand Rock. Gotta be prepared for the sandstorms. Uh, can't help but notice from here, uh, you got one of them weak light wood guitars. Bringing that kind of guitar here, it ain't gonna last you longer in a few days at most. Uh, when I started playing, uh, bought myself a similar guitar from Walnut Groove, uh, real fancy like, uh, broke in three days. My little Elsie wasn't born back then, so I had a little change. What? You got some secret esoteric knowledge of music you ain't told us before? Nah. Just wants to spare this young woman one of your rants. <laughs> I don't mind. I like hearing people's stories. I always get such amazing inspiration from these tales. So you're musicians too. If my guitar isn't broken, I'd love to play together. 
Seems like you're real passionate about your music. Cooper's got a point, though. A verbose point, but still, Sand Rock's a real airy place. If you're gonna have these kind of thin wood guitars, they aren't gonna last a long time. They'll deform and crack. When you build your next one, it's probably good to keep that in mind. You know, it's good to meet someone who's got an ear for music. Uh, ain't a lot of folks around here that really know their stuff. Uh, me and Hugo got a little something cooking. Uh, wanna hear it? Oh, really? Sure, I'd love to. Well, what do you think? It's really... unique. I didn't expect those chord progressions. Unique? <sighs> I know what that means. It means you don't like it. Ah, come on, Coop. She ain't from around here. She's not used to our music. She never says she doesn't like it. Don't be so sensitive. I was taught a man's got to speak his mind. That goes for you, young Missy, as well. And Hugo, if you think you know what she's thinking, why don't you go play her a tune on your piano? Ugh, not this again. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, let me play you something I've been working on. Can I use your... Cannot hear it, but... Huh? Uh, why is it so soft? Uh, where's your passion, girl? I think it's nice. Sounds like the stuff the kids are listening to these days. Puh. Kids ain't got a clue what real music is, I tell you. They're just listening to that boom, boom junk. Uh, half those kids can't even read music. You can't even read it all, Coop. Hmm. Thanks. When I get a new guitar, I'm going to play you all the best songs in the world. <laughs> Builders just being nice. Lots of young people go for hyperbole these days. I'd like to see you try. Best song in the world? <laughs> it ain't you proclaiming it. It's got to come from other people's mouths. Uh, right. Oh, come on, Coop. You're being real harsh to her. She just wants to play music. We should be supporting her. How about we have a little friendly competition? It's on. It's the only way to settle this. How about this then? Let's take some time to prepare a song. Then get everyone in town to be the judges. Um, mister, I've actually only been composing music for a little while. And I don't have any songs of my own. Can I adapt a tune I really like? Of course you can, missy. Heck. Use all of them, famous songs, and mash them together if you like. Don't bother me none. By the way, young lady, what's your name? Uh, of course. Where are my manners? I'm Penny from Barna Rock. I'm Hugo, and this rambling old fogey is Cooper. We're a band, Kugos. It's lovely to meet you, and I'm really excited to get this competition underway. But my guitar... You got lucky, Missy. Standing next to you there is one heck of a builder. I tell you, since Builder came to town, things changed around here. Anyway, I'm sure you're going to be able to get a new guitar made in no time with Builder's help. Right. Come on, Coop. We better get to work. Kugo's reputation's on the line. Is it true? You're a builder? Can you help me with the guitar? I think Cooper and Hugo are right. I probably need a sturdier guitar if I'm looking to make a career out of it. Sand rock's really dry, so it'll easily warp and crack the wood of a normal wooden guitar. But I don't want to abandon the aesthetic and feel. Can you help me make an acoustic guitar with some sand and wind resistance without changing the sound? You need a recipe design, right? That's how you builders do things. Maybe it'd be good to ask a local carpenter, see if they have any ideas. Thank you so much! No, I'm not that nice for Ryan. First, we're gonna open uh, the sand walls, and then we're gonna go ask uh, Ryan about that. And it's been a while since we had the sand rock. We didn't have those, that many of sand rocks, sand things. It's, it's a bit weird. Cool. 
Okay, we have a bunch of quests that we just got. Okay. We only have two, the other ones are not with the other thing, it's not ready yet. I suppose. It takes about a few seconds. So let me check my water. So not bad, not good. Uh, how much can we how how, how many can we make? didn't collect anything uh, it's a sandstorm Ooh, that's why and this is Zeke that we have there hmm interesting let's wait for that thing to finish it's not gonna take too long but uh, since we can uh, add Q add Q Cool. Uh, do we need to go talk to Zeke or just leave that? Talk to Zeke, okay. Let's go talk to Zeke then. Factor protection popped, but uh, <laughs> we still have one more to make. Okay. Is it finished? No, it's gonna take a few seconds. It's okay. Let's go talk to Zeke. And uh, we're gonna leave that. It's gonna do its thing. Okay, we did get the, the, the late game, the factory. We could have got it sooner. But still. Not a big deal. Oh, hey. You here to help us do some planting? To be honest, I'm a bit nervous. I'm really not sure how well our algae will perform out here. Even though it's all sand, there's still a difference between the soil here and those at the little woods. There are always unknown factors. Pa's right. Fighting against nature is a Sisyphean task. Hmm. <laughs> Mion and I have done several trips out here to measure the water table and the soil mineral levels. We've also brought back sand samples to the moisture farm and used our algae on them to pretty good results. So, there's not much more we can do other than a live test. Um, I've read some very old records from the old world, even before the corrupted age that told stories of how communities on the edge of encroaching deserts planted vegetation to reclaim the land. While they never talked about the technical details, they, uh, do mention tangible changes to the local climate, including less sandstorms. Anyhow, Trudy, Mion, Don B, and Burgess have all been here preparing seeds, straws, and everything else we need. I can give you some. If you have time, you can plant some yourself. Our goal for this experiment is to plant 100 trees. It'll be a good start, and we can get a lot of valuable data. Okay, so we got uh, that quest. So. From there. So we have that, and he also gave us the trees. Cool. Uh, do we have a, there is a time limit for this one? Not really, but, but I don't want to do it this time around with uh, with all the sandstorm. I want to do it in the next day, and also I see we are a bit in the limit to for the episode. Uh, so yeah we did get our last do collector so we have nine of the big ones we i will see them to not right now to be 
uh, a bit much to upgrade them, but we still have. Uh, and uh, that's gonna take a name. That's gonna take. It, they, they, they're gonna take a minute. They will take a minute. Mostly these ones. So, no, not a big deal. It's gonna take a minute, but yeah. So, this is gonna be for me for today, though, for this episode. Uh, I will see, go see if we have any other commission that I can get, uh, get money, because I'm blowing money right now quite a bit fast, faster than I wanted. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe, like button, share it, comment, and I will see you in the next episode of my time at Sandro. Have a great day. Bye.